All right, so that'll do it for night number one here from Morgan Hill Aquatic Center. A very fast night of action. I think the uh, key term was record-breaking here on night number one, Tiffany. I think it it might be safe to say there might have been more records broken than not. There, we started the meet off with records. We saw the majority of the 200 freestyles all break the records, and we saw them consistently go throughout the course of the event. We saw a lot of events here tonight. What so, were some of the uh, record-breaking swims that really stand out to you, Tiffany? Well... Of course, we knew two going into the race. We saw them uh, broken in the prelim session, and both of those swimmers came back to better their own records. That was Justin Lynch's 100 Butterfly. He was a 50-0 this morning, and he got under that 50 point. 49-8 from a 14-year-old in that 100 Butterfly today. Pretty impressive stuff. It was. So that was definitely one of the top records. And then we have to acknowledge Catherine Breed, who was under the two-minute mark this morning, breaking that record. And then she was a 157. So, I mean, that's a another considerable time drop for a 200. And then I think your favorite swim had to be those two girls in the 200 yep. breaststroke, busting out 220s. It was. Two girls in the 11 and 12. I'm not a breaststroker. It's hard for me to say my favorite event of the night is the 200 breaststroke because I probably know the least about this event. But 200 breaststroke, 11 and 12 girls, 220 points for both of those ladies, setting the bar for those other boys to follow. And I mean, that's that's ridiculously fast. It was a very, very impressive 200 breaststroke all around for all the age groups. But those those young ladies in the 200 breaststroke, wasn't it the 11-12? 11-12. Yeah, 11-12 girls really setting the bar. You guys can check back for all those official results on the landing page at swimmingworld.tv. That landing page will also be populated with the events from tonight. All of those finals events will be going out, uh, going up tonight and throughout tomorrow morning. So we'll get those up on demand plus interviews. You got to check out the interview we did with Pablo Morales right before final session started, giving us some perspective on the history of this meet. Um, and then we'll have other recaps like this one. What other events really stood out for you tonight here, Tiffany? I think the 200 freestyles across the board. We saw a couple double event winners throughout the night. I think what Justin Lynch, we just mentioned him, but I think he came back in that two free. Um, a terrific final 50 for Justin Lynch to lead off the meet or to lead off his evening. Clocking a 142 in the 200 freestyle and first through third in that event, all within, I believe, three tenths of a second. It was an awesome finish. That's definitely one to go back and watch if you have the chance to watch those 13, 14 guys in that 200 freestyle. The 50 backstroke, another another great race. The Was it the 13, 14 ladies? Mm -hmm. She was a 26, 9 yep. this uh, morning and Isleta. then a 26, 9 again. Yep, Isleta going to 26, 9 today. Very impressive stuff. So. I think that pretty much wraps up all the action that we saw here from night number one at the Far Western Championships. We're going to be back doing it all over again tomorrow night, 5 o'clock Pacific time, right here at the Morgan Hill Aquatic Center. Again, check out that Swimming World TV landing page for all the stuff that you missed tonight. Make sure your family and friends know they can tune in for the live feed starting tomorrow, right before 5 o'clock Pacific time here from Morgan Hills. And so a uh, pretty nice night of action to get things started. Expect much of the same tomorrow, Tiffany? Oh, definitely. We see so many, here at the Far Westerns, we see so many different events. We have four different age groups, so you're seeing a lot of changing, a lot of racing, a lot of endurance required of these young swimmers. A lot so of versatility. We're going to start off tomorrow with the uh, individual, I mean, the IM events. So we're going to see we're going to see what, sh what swimmers have some versatility, which I know is a subject we love to talk about here at Swimming World. Absolutely. Looking forward to that tomorrow. I'll be back here on Swimming World TV for that action. As for night number one, I'm Garrett McCaffrey. Tiffany this is Elias. Tiffany Elias, and we will see you guys tomorrow.